Lopez. One is 20-year-old FSU football player Edward Lewis Clark. The other, 21-year-old Tallahassee Community College student Napoleon Bennett. Earlier today, 20-year-old fast food employee Byron Johnson was arrested for the murder of Lopez. He's being held without bond in the Leon County Jail. Liz Compton reports on today's events. The fight that led to the death of 21-year-old Pablo Lopez began here in front of Montgomery Gym on the FSU campus. Police say the building had been evacuated during a dance because a fire alarm was set off. Hundreds of students were waiting to go back inside when Lopez showed up. At that point, a vehicle ran through the crowd at a high rate of speed. One of the uh, occupants of that vehicle was Pablo Lopez. Both Pablo and the unidentified driver exited the vehicle. Pablo uh, began or, or got into a confrontation with uh, an individual identified as Byron Johnson. Hanley says it isn't clear what Lopez and Johnson were fighting about. At that point, Lopez left with the driver of the car, but that was not to be the end of it. About an hour later, Lopez returned and confronted Johnson in the parking lot behind Montgomery Gym. At 1.40 this morning, police alleged that Johnson pulled out a 12-gauge shotgun and fired one fatal shot into Lopez's stomach. Campus police arrested 20-year-old Byron Johnson at the scene. They recovered the shotgun and charged Johnson, who was not an FSU student, with first-degree murder. While police were on the scene, another shot rang out. Moments following the shooting, another unidentified individual fired one round from a pistol into the crowd that had gathered. The man was later identified as the driver of the car involved in the earlier incident. Liz Compton, Channel 6 Eyewitness News, Tallahassee. Clark, who is an outside linebacker with the Seminoles, has been charged with aggravated assault with a firearm and discharging a firearm in a public place. Bennett was charged with aiding and abetting. He had apparently been with Johnson when he obtained the gun that killed Lopez. Both men were released from custody on their own recognizance today. An unidentified juvenile has been charged with pulling the fire alarm that disrupted the dance and sent both suspect and victim into the parking lot. Lopez was married on Monday. He leaves not only a new bride, but many friends and teammates who will see a promising career go unfulfilled. Scott Atwell has a report. Before his death Saturday morning, Pablo Lopez was living his finest week at the Seminole. His effort last Saturday at Nebraska earned him the coach's Rambo Award for outstanding hustle and effort. But awards in football seemed woefully insignificant as word of the Lopez death spread through the players' apartment complex on Saturday. Everything just went blank and it's, it was like Pablo was a brother that had done a part of me that really got shot and I just felt deep down in my heart just a big wind just hit me. Maybe once a year I'll get a phone call uh, at 2 o'clock at night, 3 o'clock at night. Somebody's in jail, somebody's had a wreck, somebody's done this, somebody's done that, but I got the, I got the bad, I got the worst call I could get last night. Lopez had a reputation as the free spirit on the Seminole football squad. A junior criminology major from Miami, he was team leader in charge of keeping the Seminoles loose. I've never seen our player so emotional over something in my life because he was one of the most likable players on our team. If we had a most likable, he would have won it hands down. And, uh, and I don't care how hurt they are or I was, uh, nobody's hurt like the mother. Pablo was a six foot, six foot five, 275 pound friendly guy and lovable guy. They're not gonna regroup quickly over this. I don't, wouldn't expect them to, I wouldn't want them to. The Seminoles had planned a big practice on Monday. Instead, they'll hold a memorial service in honor of Pablo Lopez. Scott Atwell, Channel 6 Eyewitness News, Tallahassee. In Medard, a high school football game had to be stopped to tackle an all-city, all-American, destined for stardom as a Florida State Seminole. Coaches here remember Pablo Lopez as a gifted athlete who gave all for his team. Even after graduating, he would periodically drop by for a visit. And when he heard that the team needed an offensive line coach during spring practice, he volunteered. One of those coaches is William Lopez. He was always looked up to, and he always gave us the positive outlook that we want out of a student athlete. Assistant Principal Sam Skarnecchia, a former coach, remembers a six foot four, 280 pound lineman as a gentle giant. I can't think of a person that have, would have an angry word to speak of the kid. And again, it's a, it's a cliche, but it's the truth in this kid's case. He is really a super kid, and I, I'm, I'm devastated over his death. He's always doing good, painful people and things like that. And it's just so hard for me to believe.
Head coach Sam Miller says he doesn't know if Lopez's number will be retired from the Cobra roster. There hasn't been time to think about it's, that. It's, what little time there has been has been spent wondering how. And they were playing one of those teams where that makes you have things go wrong with you. The Seminoles knew they were in for a rough game against North Carolina, the type of rough physical teams they've had trouble with this year. It was especially the offense that had trouble, but it wasn't a Florida State team that didn't have its chances. Bob Warren has the game.